Hi, welcome to an interesting topic today. <laughs> this is episode 798, getting close to that 800 mark. And the topic today is about ball busting, yes. So this is for the ladies, and for the gents watching, you might get some value from this too. Actually, yes, the gents will get value from this too. The, the title officially, if I can remember what it said in the title is, are you a ball buster in life as well as in love? Um, I said dating, but I should have said life and love because that's kind of my theme. And this is why and what to do about it. That should be what I said. So before I jump into the title and express and explain and share about this, let me introduce myself so you know who I am, what I'm about, and why I do these talks every day. Um, my name is Barry Selby, and you probably figured that out if you saw the title around the broadcast somewhere. Um, I am the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women. Hi, Sandy. Nice to see you my broadcast. Um, I do. This is, by the way, this is Facebook Live. In case you're watching on YouTube, so you're wondering who I'm talking to. That's who. So, um, that's an the inspir- <laughs> one of my introduction. Inspirational speaker and relationship and love expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which informs my work. Which is why this topic is particularly useful and relevant to me and to you, hopefully too. Um, and also inspired these talks over two years ago called "Messages for the Masculine, Inspiring a Feminine Heart." So today we're episode number 798. So getting close to 800, I know. So the topic today is getting a bit juicier, which is about ball busting. I actually saw a couple of posts from friends today which inspired this talk. And I've talked about this in other ways before, but I thought, let me be blunt and let's say, are you a ball buster in life and love? That's kind of why I'm theming this. And here's what it's about, why you're doing it and what to do about it. And there's some feedback and some tips for the men in this one too, because frankly, this is not one sided conversation. And being a man in this conversation, I've been on the receiving end. <laughs> I've been on the receiving end of ball busting more than once, so I know what it feels like. So, ladies, I'm going to bring this to you as an offering of peace <laughs> and hopefully an education and a refinement to give you some feedback. Because part of this, I'm going to start from a different angle just so you get this, this from a different perspective. Let me talk about the business world for a second, because that's, that's where some of this starts. And basically, the way I would describe it is the business world was created by men for men, and women have been trying to fit in ever since. And that's the crux, in a way, of the problem. Um, actually, hold that thought for a second. Let me go over here. Let me explain what ball busting is as well, because I didn't even explain the point. Because some of you may not know what, what ball busting is. I'll be surprised if you don't. But ball busting basically is where women emasculate men. Simple as that. And I'm explaining more about the pain of that and also on both sides and the way out of that. So let me get back up, okay, back into the business world for a second. I'm like putting in layers. So the business world, built by men, for men, where women have been trying to fit in ever since. The business world of the last 30 years or so, especially, and not so much now, but still that way, is when we had to copy the men to fit into the business world, just the way it is, because the business world was not designed for women. It's changing. And there are women out there who are leading fearlessly in their feminine. I reckon I love them dearly and respect them and deep bow to some of the women I know who do that. Mostly on the West Coast for some reason. I'm not going to get into that. But what I do want to speak to is how women have, unfortunately, in a lot of cases, when they've when been successful in business, excuse me, not unfortunately this part, they're successful in business, but unfortunately they haven't learned how to disengage that, um, I was going to say guerrilla tactic, that, that fight push energy when it comes to dating. So what happens is these women, and again, not you, but women you know, have been um, successful in business, knocking down targets and competing with the men, making things happen, charging forward and being very bullish in a lot of ways. And when you go on dates or go to happy hours, you keep doing that. I mean, it sounds so obvious, but that's what people, that's what women do a lot is they carry over their energy because they've succeeded with it in the business world. So the wiring inside is they can see with, succeed with that energy everywhere in life. Not so much. Except that, well, let me say it this way. If you want to ball bust men, if you want to ma- emasculate men, then yes, keep doing it. It works fine that way. I don't recommend it because that's not the way the energy should, should flow. And I'm going to get into that in a second too. So ladies, if you're one of these women who've been a ball buster in life, meaning you've been very dynamic, you've been very masculine in a way, doing things very macho, in fact, getting things done, making things happen, taking charge, you know, um, 
was that? Um, oh, knocking down walls, taking names. No, there's a, I'm, I'm misquoting a, a phrase for that. Anyway, not relevant here. This is unfortunately the way the world is built or has been built for the Western world. Now, one slight caveat on that. Some women are naturally masculine. And I'm going to get into that one later on. But let me speak to this for, mo for most women who are naturally feminine. However, they're naturally feminine inside, but they've been wearing a shell or a mask or a um, protection of a, ma a male way of doing things, a, a macho way of doing things. Women who've gone into the business world have had to do that for survival to somewhat avoid the sexual harassment that can show up as well, by the way. It's a whole other Me Too conversation. But also have been had to prove themselves by beating the men at their own game. But dating is not where you do that. <laughs> in business, it may have to do that still, but in business, dating, it doesn't. Here's what happens. When women date men when they're still in the masculine, if the man's in his masculine as well, there's a battling energy, a, a um, combative, but also a, a, a it's a win-lose comp competition is what it comes down to. When women and men are doing this, one or two things can happen. Actually, one of the, uh, well, let's start with two. There may be three other ones as well. I'm just seeing what happens. One of which is the woman doesn't back down, but the man does, which is where she ball busts. The second way is the man holds up long enough. Well, I mean, you need another way. The man is so attached to his ego that he will not give up and he'll push her down and force her into the feminine, which is not healthy either. The third option is they go the separate ways, which is not a win either way. The only way it wins, the only way this uh, situation wins if a woman goes in being masculine and being macho and being ball busting is the man stays in his masculine with patience and with presence. Patience, presence, or anything else in there. And knowing what he's doing. Because a man who knows that he desires this woman who's in a masculine will outlast her if it's what it's worth doing. So what happens is by a man holding that space, I'm from which, which I you, sorry, I can remember which was masculine and feminine. Okay, let me, re, let me reset that for a second. So the man who's in his masculine <laughs> holds the space for the woman who's attempting to be in the masculine more than he is, but he doesn't let go, he doesn't, doesn't back down, he doesn't fight her, doesn't push on her, he stays present with her. Eventually what happens is, and this is the key part, by the way, is that she starts to realize that she can trust him. This is a big piece, by the way. When she realizes she can trust him, she'll soften into a feminine naturally and open up. And he hasn't moved. And he's not doing anything to push into her space. He's staying his masculine. And this is the tip for the men, by the way. When you're with a woman who is a bull buster type because she's been trained that way, it's not usually natural for women to be that way. It's more like they've had to learn that as a way of being in the world and in business to compete. When you hold that space for her, when you hold that space in honor of her, when you hold that space so she can't push you down, and again, not from a combative or competitive point of view, but from a presence point of view. When a man is masculine, sorry, that side, I, I got my fists backwards on the screen. <laughs> when, she, when he holds the space of the masculine, she can trust that. And when she can trust his masculine, she can let go of it. It really is as simple as that in, in large part. Because in the business world, women have been trained to compete and fight with men to being successful. So they don't trust the men because they know that they can beat them. So their level of trust in men is diminished. So a lot of ball-busting women have lost trust in men because they've had to compete with them in business. And when they date them, most men back down or, uh, or fight them or basically walk away. Well, back down, well, and become supplicant. I was one of those, by the way. I was definitely the, I dropped into a re receptive and a, and a sup, sup, supplicant secondary role. And the, the women, I didn't know, because this, this, is, this is going back 20, 30 years ago before I, and certainly more than 13 years ago when I started this work, where I understand now what masculine means. So I'm t speaking about this for men to hear and for women to understand too. When a man who is in that arena to meet a woman in a social environment or, or a, a dating environment, whatever that is, and stays present in his masculine, and ladies, you want to watch out for this because this is what you want. There are men out there who look shiny, bright, and very cool, very, very you know, fancy cars look very together. I mentioned, I'm talking about this yesterday, but uh, bright, shiny objects, uh, sy the bright, the, the shiny object syndrome. There are men out there who basically are that because they have the pre presentation of that, but they're not really that. It's a shell. It's a, it's the gift wrap that makes them look that way. But when you 
when you strip away the gift wrap, so to speak, of the appearance, the dress, the car, the looks, and you find out they're still just an empty shell, they're a macho or a weak man who doesn't have the strength for that. Because presence in a masculine is an internal quality, it's not the external presentation, although a lot of men do exhibit it naturally because it exudes through who they are. Ladies, the what what you what I suggest you will want. I don't, I don't want to force it on you, but I, what I suggest you will want is a man you can trust, a man who stands on his own two feet in his energy, whose presence with you is such that you can go, thank you, I can relax now. And for most women who are around men like that, they get this. Women understand this naturally. I know from having worked with women like this, and also with friends who have been around with that, where they when they can trust their energy then it becomes a place where they can relax into their feminine and that's when women, frankly, are in their magnificence and I'm biased about that. So for the men watching and for the ladies who want to share this with the men watching, your role, your opportunity, if you are interested in a woman who may be in a ball busting energetic, is not to tell her that, dangerous thing to do, not to compete with her for that and not to push or fight her or control her with that either. It's to presence with her to be present in your masculine as a almost like an, um, a timeless space we are in no rush yes you can converse with her interact with her but you don't give up your masculine space because what happens is a woman who's in that place in that ball busting energy will test you <laughs> guaranteed will test you because she's met many men who pretend that way of being a lot and they don't stand up and they don't hold the space so ladies will test you if you're a man who's really into masculine to verify you really are. If you are and you stay there and you know what it is to be in a masculine space and she verifies you are that way, then she can trust you. And when she can trust you, she can let go of the ball busting. Now, <laughs> the joy of this conversation is this is not a permanent situation. For many women, this is a... Um, well, because they work in the business world, as I mentioned, they have that fight, push, compete, energetic. They'll bring it home with them often too. So gentlemen, if you are really looking to be a woman who's that strong, who can be that strong, but also as a feminine woman, that's my focus myself, then holding the masculine with her every single time is the requirement. Because wavering in that will just destroy the trust. So to be her, there for her in your masculine, which doesn't mean you can't play in the feminine in a relationship, but that, that's a place where you've already built the space for trust there. But every time she comes to you in that energy and you're on your masculine and she can trust that, the quicker she can relax to let go and, allow, and to be in a feminine which flows and allows her to be more fully expressing herself. There are things I've talked about before, way back actually, it's a good time to remind her, is if she goes to work, comes home and you're home before her, one thing you can do for her, on a regular basis if you wish, is to take her bags from her, keys, her phone, all her, all her stuff from her, lead her to the bathroom where you've, where you've planned it accordingly, where you have a bathtub already full, hot, with soap suds and candles, and you say, honey, take a bath, I'll see you in half an hour. If you do that for her as a masculine man, you will be very happy. <laughs> I'm going to say that simply. Also, if you're out with a woman and you take care of things for her, not to take it away from her, but to take care of things for her. So carrying her bag, open the door for her. The gentleman stuff I talk about in my talks and what I do in my work, by being a gentleman in respecting her and honoring her, she will build up more and more trust in you that she can feel safe, that you won't desert her, that you won't undercut her, that you won't dominate her even in the sense of pushing her down from being her true self. So there's two sides to this conversation. So this is what men can do. So for ladies, I mentioned in this piece about how you're gonna, you will test your man to make sure he's masculine. That's part and parcel of, the, of being. That's, I don't teach you that. But some reminders are is be present with the man you're with. Feel into who he is. Can you trust him? Do you sense his, his presence and his, his consciousness that is holding that space so deep you can rest in it? If he is, awesome. If he's not, don't try to train him because that's ball busting that part two. Is it's not your job to train your man. It's your job, is so to speak, to find a man who already knows how to do this. And if there's a man you like who you want to have trained, send him somebody who can train him, don't do it yourself. 
because no matter what you do you still become the parent I was in a relationship like, relationship like that so I know how painful that is to be on the male side of that the lessons we learn so ladies the piece of the puzzle I want to really unfold for you is to remember that business and love aren't necessarily the same thing you can be a force of nature in both but different ways in fact I encourage you to be a force of nature in both ways but different ways with business to go for the to go for the the win to succeed to make a big thing happening is great the pieces I would recommend you bring into business by the way this is part of the feminine leadership piece is to bring in two things that are probably missing from the business world cooperation and collaboration creating win-win is a feminine energetic and if you bring that to business and you can succeed in your business world and whether it's sales or marketing or collaboration or whatever it is bringing win-win and collaboration and cooperation into the conversation are feminine energetics that can change the business dynamic in a positive way so those components of collaboration cooperation you bring into the romance and dating side that works great but the win at all costs competing bashing knocking down isn't the best way to be in a relationship one caveat <laughs> in certain situations it can be fun to play with it but to live that way no to truly own your space as a feminine woman in a relationship is the biggest gift you can give a man who really could because first of all if a man is masculine and he witnesses you and you're feminine he will worship you forever that's part of what the lesson I learned 13 years ago and still learn so as a reminder that's part of the gifts that are available from masculine feminine polarity in a, com in a relationship conversation as in my book by the way okay giving some feminine tips some masculine tips understanding how this works um, I haven't seen any questions so I guess that that you must be receiving this and getting value from it um, I'm trying to think there's anything else I want to give in this point this is a this is a succinct and a cliff notes version of a lot deeper conversation I talked about this many times before on my Facebook live so I'll give you the links where you can find the replays and some offerings I'll leave in the comments um, ladies if you have some challenges in this area and it's not working the way you want I invite you to reach out to have a conversation with me I'll put a link in the comments for a complimentary clarity conversation it's a gift from me to you and we can talk I'll give you some tips and guidance and also see if it's worth working together because frankly if you want to go deep I can help you with that and secondly I'll put a link in the comments for my book because they've mentioned it a couple of times which is 50 ways to love your lover that link will be in the comments too so you can get some quick reading tips and uh, that'll be in the comments and the replays if you haven't seen my broadcast before by the way this is my daily Facebook live I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook which is Barry Selby if you're here live great thank you for being here if you're watching the replay you're probably watching it on my personal page or on my business page where the replays live which is Barry Selby author and then I also have a YouTube channel which I invite you to subscribe to which is Barry Selby subscribe to that was better English there's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine where all these live it's also easy to sort through them there because the titles are easy to, uh, close together I hope you got some value from this I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions thoughts confirmation concerns questions challenges whatever's going on please put them below and respond if you want to reach out to me for help over social media do that as well again I put links in the comments for help um, gents if you want help with this message me I don't have a link for a discovery session for the men the link for the complimentary clarity conversations for the women only so that link can be in the comments as I mentioned guys if you want to reach out for men if you want to reach out message me um, I have some I have some resources and references and guidance I can help you with that I think is about it yeah I think that's it so so hopefully this has been a value to you. I, I take some notes if you didn't take notes I hope you did watch it again take some notes this can change your relationship life it can change your business life it can change your future I'm a passionate champion as I said for the divine feminine so this is part of my work this is part of my calling and ladies if you are challenged by this if you want some help with this I'm here to help you this is my passion my service my joy and it's my work so with that I thank you for watching um, you know where to find the replays you know I have some stuff in the comments for you and I invite you to take care of yourself as always please take care of yourself because you're the only person who can do that and it's better if you do so I'm encouraging you to take care of yourself. I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And I'll see you again soon. Take care.